Hey guys, I wanted to talk about one of the best things that I have seen come along to lock sport and lock picking in general for probably the two decades that I've been around and picking locks. So, I've been around longer than two decades, but anyhow. Uh, these are the Lishi 2-in-1 picks and they integrate a tension wrench and a pick into one device, hence the 2-in-1 nature of these. So the great part about these is they, they almost make it dead simple for absolutely anybody to pick a lock without any knowledge of how a lock works or lock picking in general, which it kind of seems like cheating to me in a sense, but they're amazing. So the premise is, is that you've got this pick that operates on this little lever here. So it's a lever based system, but then this bar that collapses here acts as the tension wrench. So you're applying tension in whatever direction the lock turns and maybe you do have to at least know the, the concept of which direction a lock turns um, to, to release it. But anyhow, on the, on the pin stacks in general, you have these numbered columns. So the columns go from one on the front side to five on the back side. And each one of those represents a, a pin stack. You've got your, your top pin and you've got your actual uh, keyway pin. And the keyway pins are what are cut to different sizes. Um, and that represents these indications here. So you've got kind of like a level um, from one through six. You can actually decode a lock by figuring out how tall those pins are with this too. So it, it's kind of dual purpose, decoding, picking, it does everything. <laughs> kind of an all-in-one pick, even though it's two-in-one, but anyway. So I'll show you how dead simple this is. This is a quick set version, and you're just gonna make sure that this is not up on the pick before you insert it. So I'm just gonna insert this down. You'll want to make sure as well that you know, you've got your tension deployed and then you're just going to apply slight tension just like before and I'm just going to look at what pin is, is making the, or binding, which is the same premise as a lock. So just run through this, so five, four, three, two, one, unlocked. So, it almost takes the, the skill out of lock picking, I know that sounds weird, but it, it creates just a, a dead simple way to, to keep this, the key steady as well. So one of the problems with tension is that it varies so much when you're actually doing single pin picking or even raking that this, it takes the slop out of it. So there's no, yes, you still have to provide lightweight tension, but at the same time, there's really no, um, yeah, there's, <laughs> it's just easy. All right, so here's a little bit of an up close and personal with the Lishi 2 and one pick. As I mentioned, there's the bar that you deploy or fold out that actually you can push on to provide the tension, uh, which the tension on these is very easy. It's not like the featherweight tension required on most locks. Yes, you still have to be careful, but there's, there's a little more forgiveness, if you will, in, in the tension required with these. So again, the scale across the top here, you've got one through five running on columns across the top like this. And then you've got your pin depths. So again, driver pins come from the top, key pins come from the bottom, and the heights of the key pins are what this scale here is for. So coming up from the bottom. And then your tallest pin is a nine. That's like the tallest profile that you can get on a Schlage. And again, the SC1 is a five pin Schlage profile. And this is our modular practice lock. We actually have this as a six pin, but we took out the six pin in the back to, to make it work with this. And the six pin just provides a little more challenge when you're, when you're picking. So I'm gonna insert the SC1 pick here, making sure that little pick is down when it goes in. And I'm just gonna put a little tension here. I'm gonna try to do it this way so you can see what I'm doing here. So again, I'm gonna start at one, and I'm just gonna, actually first I wanna show you that how this works as they lift. So this is riding on the number one now. And you can see that as I press this one down, the first pin is moving, so on and so forth. Two, and then three there is moving. And here's four. Sometimes when this turns a little in binds, it can be difficult to show the pin lifting. There you go, there's so four, and then five is in the back there. So as I, again, apply tension, I'm going to start at one and one is loose, so that's not where the binding is coming from. I'm gonna to go to two, nothing there, three, 
four. And again, you don't want to push too far here. If you don't, if you don't, if you're feeling resistance, don't keep going when you're at the, the bottom depth here. And then five, there's my release there on five. Now I'm going to work backwards. There's four, three, two, back to one, pop, and open. So that is the Lishi two and one pick. They're dead simple. I think that you can't go wrong with these at all.